Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to use the group policy to show the background on the desktop and also show the computer information use the bginfo.exe. So if you if we go to google.com and we search for the bginfo, we can see just search for bginfo. So we can download from here at the top one. Then we can download this bginfo.exe file. It's a zip file. I have already downloaded this one. So if I go to this, you know, the folder, I go to the uh, downloads. So this is the zip file. I just, uh, you know, extract all the files in the folder. And then I just need this bginfo.exe. I go to C drive create a folder name in the background folder and then i copy the bginfo.exe into it the next one is the wallpaper which is the background of the desktop so i run this bginfo.exe and you know by default you will show all the information so we can just select everything we delete and then we select the item we want to show on the desktop on the screen so i want to show the host name username uh, always within the you know, volume of free space and just one just two items don't have in this in the list which we wanted to add to this you know to the screen so i just add it now by myself you know i just put a help desk team you know the number and also the email address so this one and also i wanted to set up the background i go click the background and then i select the setting to go to the you know i want to go to the c drive background and select this one so just uh, the background for the you know, desktop and then I can go OK. It shows fear. That means fear the whole screen. So can you go OK? And also this one, I want to change this to the, you know, the color to the blue. I change to the blue. So can you apply? Preview. So you see shows the blue. And then I want to change the position to the uh, bottom of the screen, I just click position and then I select this one. Click OK. So here's this one. OK. And then I click uh, apply and click OK. So once this is done, we create a, you know, this BG info.bgi file. I copy this folder, this whole folder to the uh, Net logon folder. I create this one. This is the same as this we copied. You know, we created before. And then the next step is I need to create a group policy. So I go to the group policy management. I have created a group policy to you know name the GPO dash set background. And in this group policy, I go to the user configuration policies. Windows settings and go to scripts. If I go to scripts, uh, log on, and then I create a file. Then in this file, I just uh, click edit. So in this file, the first thing I want to see if this file exists or not. If the file is, is already exists, this means the file is already called, copied over to the computer. If not exist, then I will use the robot copy, you know, from this net logon folder you know slash backup background to the c background folder use the purge means you know copy everything over to replace the one on the c drive then this way just copy the file over and then the next one i want to do is i go to the this one preference and then i go to the windows settings and then I go to shortcuts. 
I create a shortcut like a BG info. In the shortcut, I just click properties. I select update and the name is the BG info. It's file system object and startup. The name is C slash background slash BG info dot bat BAT file. And I want to minimize, run minimize cell. I also, I want to show you this file. What does this batch file mean? So if I go to the uh, log on, I go to this background. There's a bad file. If I open this one, edit this file. It shows, you know, run this command, you know, bginfo.exe, you know, use the param this one uh, bginfo.bgi file and then slash sign and slash no leak prompt and slash timer zero. This means, you know, it just run silently, does not show any prompt on the when it runs. So once this is done, I create this, uh, you know, this group policy. After I create this group policy, I just close this one. Normally, I don't need to run the computer, you know, configuration. I can go to the setting actions properties and then disable the computer configuration settings. So I click OK. So if I can close this one, and then I go to group policy management. I just uh, link this group policy to the user's OU. So this group policy is already set, is set up now. Then I need to log into the computer to see what happens. If I log into this Windows 10 computer, and uh, also I show you this. If I go to the Go to the computer, you know, Active Directory users and computers. We see in this users OU, we have Linda Smith. Linda Smith is in this OU. So I just uh, log in to the computer as this user. I just uh, log in. So after I log in, I can see, you know, the screen background shows up and also show the information which I put in the BG info, you know, that's what I need to show on the user computer. And it just shows as expected through the group policy. That's all I show you today. Thank you.